I like to fix microchips. My whole research is about making sure the microchips work. And it seems like a simple problem, but it's actually a very challenging one. Semiconductor companies spend about two to three years to make sure that the chip works correctly after they designed it. And there are multiple issues there to deal with. They're very complex. How do we make sure they work they were intended to? Transistors tend to become smaller and smaller. In 10 years, we expect transistors that are 10 nanometers in size, one thousandth of a human hair. At that dimension, we expect one of them to break every day in a chip. But we cannot afford to buy a new chip every day, so we need to be able to work with the remaining transistor and make the whole system work like that. We are working on two different directions. On one end, we can fix functional problem on a chip when they occur at the customer site. And on the other hand, we develop workarounds so that when a transistor break or many transistors break, we can avoid their region and continue to make the system operate. Our ultimate goal is to enable the design of microchips that will work in 2030, 20 years from now. At that point, there is hope that there's gonna be a different technology that can substitute the traditional techniques. I love to teach. I like to be part of the students' learning experience and to see it happen. One thing I do is at the beginning of the semester, I have very brief meetings with each of the students to know their story, where they come from, what they try to accomplish. I hope that when my students take my classes, they leave this place with confidence in their knowledge and with a lot of enthusiasm to learn more. That can help them in their working experience, in their professional life, and in future research endeavor or education endeavor that they want to pursue.